finally seeing the 2023 CA Corvette Z06 in person. My first impression. Let's go. Howdy folks, you on the Seagull and Speed 252 show. Scroll over to the right, click that subscribe button, and join this awesome community. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. This is another episode of Seagull and Speed 252, and I want to thank everyone for pushing that play button. I also want to thank everybody for giving this video a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. And if you haven't subscribed to Mike's channel, please do so. It will definitely be on the screen. Mike. Yes, sir. 2021 C8 Corvette Vio. What are your thoughts? You mean 2023? Well, no, the day is 2021. Oh, okay. Get it right. <laughs> It's 2021 reveal. The cars are 2023. That's right. That's, that's right. right. Don't be messing up my video. <laughs> oh, don't, don't tell them. Don't be messing up my video. Anyways, with that being said, man, it's been a pleasure being here with you again. We came yeah, back in 2019. You heard the Z06 down there cranking up. I wish I was down there and I listened to that. Yeah. But at the end of the day, what are your thoughts, man, about this car? Uh, I love it, man. This is, I mean, as I said in my video, I can't smile any harder than I am. This uh, new Z06 is just phenomenal. I cannot believe what gm has done with this not just in looks but when you look at all the statistics of it it is the power is crazy the, the zero to 60 you know is phenomenal it's going to be probably three or four seconds or three or four tenths of a second faster than the base model c8 correct um, the horsepower is insane for a naturally aspirated 5.5 liter v8 correct um What's the other things that were... Oh, yeah, the weight reduction. The weight reduction. The weight. That was a shocker, man. Well, it was sort of a shocker <laughs> to me, but I had a really good feeling that Taz Juchter was going to say to the, the team, you know, let's reduce the weight on this car. And so for them to give it to us at about 200 pounds right. less, right. I'm so excited. Right. My first impression after seeing this car in person for the first time, and my personal opinion, I really appreciate the wide body. Oh, yeah. I think the wide body alone was really a thing that I was looking for because I love how wide and long the Aventador is. And seeing this car in person really stands out to me as far as the wide body goes. And I'm sure people still going to do their kits and wide body kits oh, to this car as well. Yeah. But, you know, when you see this car in person, you're going to enjoy it. So what was the first thing when you saw this car, Mike, that you really loved the most about it? Well, the base model here, the first thing that I saw was this new rear spoiler. I came back to it immediately because I wanted to see how big it was going to be. I didn't know how wide from here to there it was going to be. And so I really wanted to see that. It's really cool. It reminds me of what they call the duckbill spoiler. Yeah, that they yeah, yeah. For the C8 Corvette. Yeah. A lot of uh, aftermarket manufacturers made right. the C8 Corvette. And one thing that Keith told me that's really great about this. I don't okay. Know if he told you this. I don't know. I don't think so. This is stage one. Really? Yes, you can unscrew this, and they are going to offer a bigger wicker bill. Wow! For this and this, that's going to be sweet. So it's going to come up even higher. Oh, that awesome? that's awesome. So yeah, I was really interested to see this. 
of course, it's neat to see the Z06 in the convertible. Oh, well. yeah, absolutely. Uh, I was surprised they even revealed it in a convertible. I was expecting yeah. a hard top, you know? Right, right. Right. So that was really neat. And then the next thing was right back here, and that's the exhaust. I really wanted to check out the exhaust because, as you said, and as a lot of us uh, have wanted, right. With the C5, they started putting the exhaust out the middle. Correct. And with the C8, they put it out to the sides. Correct. So it's so neat that they've gone back to the center exhaust. I agree. And they have a really good reason for doing that. I'm not going to say it right now. They have a very good reason for doing it. It uh, helped them get the sound that they ultimately wanted with this new flat plane. Right. So, yeah. I love it. Absolutely. I think the quad exhaust is definitely something that, like I said before in an earlier video, like I'm looking forward to seeing this on a lot more cars. Um, I think a lot of customers really sort of kind of complain about the exhaust being on the Stingray. In my personal opinion, I didn't love it, but I didn't dislike it either. You know, it was something different. And we all as car enthusiasts always want something different, sure. something that looks different and see if we like it. If we don't like it, then we just complain about it obviously you know that's just how it goes yeah. um and wow that z06 sounds amazing downstairs whoa we might have to go back down there we might have to go back down there <laughs> but i mean honestly man like this car is really great now you know it's one of those things where this car isn't going to please everyone it's not everyone's taste it's not everyone's liking so with that being said what is something that you see about the car that you say huh you know i can take it or leave it um this is starting to grow on me um, it's referred to as the wishbone now. The wishbone. It used to be just this direction, and people called it the uh, boomerang. Correct. But this is starting to grow on me. I would like it a little bit better if this section up here was almost as thin as this section. Yes. I agree that's, with that. That's something I kind of wish they would have done. But at the same time, Again, it is growing on me, but that's probably the first thing that I see on this car. Right. That I'm just like, eh. Other than that, there's not really anything else. Yeah, Everything that's true. Everything else I love. That's true. About this car. That's true. One thing I will say about the Wishbone is I agree with him. It definitely has grown on me. I think I said in another video that it does have the Lamborghini kind of ish look because right. the Lamborghini also has the same thing. And yes. I appreciate the Z06 logo being there compared to what was sure. in the front. Um, but one thing I'm, I'm very excited for, and I'm glad that didn't make any changes, which is the interior. Oh, yeah. Everybody complained about being, well, the passengers complained about being disconnected from the car, right? Right. Um, and I like how they... They kept it. They kept it. Yes. Because it looks way more exotic to me. And it's it's like you're in your own cockpit. Yep. When you're driving the car, it feels like you are, you know, the, the car's wrapped around you. Right. And uh, they, they really mimicked like a fighter jet yep. feel in that cockpit. And so I love it. And as you'll see in our videos coming up soon, yep. uh, Coop yes. Z07 package that we filmed, uh, all of that stuff in there is carbon fiber. Carbon now, fiber. And it's amazing. 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 So, I really appreciate the carbon fiber steering wheel. Oh, I, I really do. do. I, and did you notice the paddles are carbon fiber? The too? paddles are carbon fiber. Yes. That's pretty sweet. Now, I will admit, I don't think that's something I'm going to be able to afford. But I know you, on the other hand, are really wanting this Z07 package with the carbon fiber. I want the Z07 package. And you probably will stay with the coupe, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yes. See, I'm still on the fence whether I'm going to do the coupe or the convertible. Whatever one will save me some money, which obviously is the coupe. But if I had to choose between the convertible and the Z07 package, I think I'm going to the Z07 package for sure, hands down. Um, overall, I think GM did a really great job with this car. There's nothing bad I can say about it. The museum was great. The people that worked here are great. Um, if you haven't been to Peterson Museum before, you should definitely check it out. The staff is really great. I mean, the people here are really extraordinary. Um, and they treated us well. They treated everyone here well. And, you know, I really appreciate what they have to offer. And make sure if you come to this museum, take a look at the Z06. It will be here until Friday, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, correct? I, I'm not sure when they're getting rid of it out of the museum. But, yes, it's going to be here for a while. Okay. So. Yeah, absolutely. So definitely come by the museum. Definitely check it out. The staff is great, and they will give you a chance to look at this awesome, beautiful car. And you guys, once again, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to his YouTube channel. Give his videos a thumbs up. And once again, I really appreciate you so much. Have a great day.